Hello and welcome back to Flora on Food. As many of you watching know already, we are back home in Shropshire. It's taken us a couple of weeks to settle into our new routine after traveling around Europe for a full year. But there's one thing that we definitely miss already, and that's the Mediterranean climate. But today we're going to show you some of the things that we've been excited to come home to. As British summertime draws to a close, it's prime time for a bit of foraging. It's time to get into the hedgerows and do a bit of berry picking. And today we're going to be using blackberries as our garnish for our recipe. And that brings us on to our next exciting item that we've got to show you, our new kitchen gadget. And may I introduce our Omni oven. I've had my eye on one of these for a long time, but this is not a sponsored video. Instead, I won it on Facebook in a go van competition whilst we were away traveling. So what is an Omni oven and what's in the box? The Omnia oven is a stove top portable oven that can be used on any heat source, except induction hobs. You can bake and roast anything that you can in a regular conventional oven at home. The Omnia oven is perfect for use in camper vans, boats and tiny homes. It requires no installation, it's lightweight and compact. This is the perfect compromise when space is an issue. For us, the Omnia oven will make meal times a little more exciting and varied. So when you purchase an Omnia oven, you receive this box. Included with your purchase is an instructional booklet complete with four recipes and top tips. Everything packs down into this handy bag to roughly 18 by 25 centimetres. The oven takes very little assembly and is a super simple design, which is thought to have been invented in the 1940s. The Omnia oven itself comes in three parts, a stainless steel base, which is placed directly on the heat source, an aluminium mould or container, this is where the food is placed ready to be baked, and a red lid with steam holes. The only assembly needed is screwing in the lid's knob. There are plenty of add-ons to use with the Omnia that are all sold separately, including silicon moulds and muffin trays, baking rack and foil liners. The heat from the bottom gets circulated up through the hole in the middle into the food and lid, creating a sealed oven. So now we've got an oven on board, it's time to do a little bit of camper van baking. Today's van life recipe is triple chocolate brownies with our foraged blackberries and some clotted cream. I'm really hungry for it already. Let's get baking. The ingredients for today's brownie are 185 grams of dark chocolate, 185 grams of butter, 85 grams of plain flour, half a teaspoon of baking powder, 40 grams of cocoa powder, 175 grams of caster sugar, three eggs, 50 grams of white chocolate chips and 50 grams of milk chocolate chips. Our first task today for this recipe is to melt the butter and the dark chocolate in a bowl which must be ceramic metal or glass over some simmering water. Don't allow the base of the bowl to touch the boiling water. And once the chocolate and the butter is melted we need to allow it to cool for 10 to 15 minutes. And while the chocolate is now cooling, we're going to crack 
three eggs into a separate bowl and add 175 grams of caster sugar to it and then we're going to whisk it until it's light and fluffy and it's called the stage of ribbons where it leaves tracks on the top of the mixture but I might need a little help with that so I'm going to need some extra muscle for this task bring in Mr Callum I would normally use an electric hand whisk but as soon as they were in the van it might take a little bit longer by hand possibly a lot longer now the eggs have been whisked to perfection absolute perfection we're now going to add the cooled down melted chocolate and butter to it we've got to use a figure of eight motion and fold it in so that we don't knock the air out of the eggs and then we're going to sieve in the cocoa powder baking powder and flour into the chocolate and eggs mixture and also use our figure of eight gentle motion. I think I just about got away with this size bowl, but it might be worth getting a slightly bigger one for next time. So to make it triple chocolate brownie, we need to add all three types of chocolates. We've got the dark chocolate in the brownie base, and then I'm going to add a good handful of white chocolate and milk chocolate. Uber chocolatey, so I just about about maybe 50 grams of each. That might be a little bit heavy, but it's gonna make it uber chocolatey. So now that the brownie mixture is ready, it's time to put it into the aluminium food container, bakey thing, um, not separator, uh, mold, that's right. Um, you can put it straight into there, but you're gonna to have to grease and um, flour it first heavily it says in my little book but as we've mentioned before I've ordered and got here the silicon mold so that's going to slip in there nicely and we're going to spoon the mixture in evenly making sure that it is as flat as possible So this is our maiden voyage with our Omnia oven and I've done plenty of research to try and make sure that it works first time. They do recommend testing it out with an easy cake packet mix, but with the novice explorers, we've gone for a full on decadent brownie. Anyway, so there's a few top tips that I must tell you about that I've read about, which makes sure that it's almost fail proof. Tip number one. Preheat the stainless steel bottom cook plate for three minutes before you place on the food mould. So that's what we're going to do now. Three minutes heating that on the gas ring on high. On there. Three minutes. Then this goes on top for one minute on high. Then we add the lid to it and then turn it down onto a medium heat. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing now. In a normal conventional oven, the brownie should be baked at 180 degrees Celsius. So I ended up turning the gas down to its lowest setting. So the Omnia oven takes around the same time as what a conventional oven would take to cook our brownie. So I'm going to check it at 30 minutes, but it should take around 45 minutes to totally cook and be absolutely delicious. So after 30 minutes, it's baked and it's ready. I can't smell any burning anywhere, can you Cal? No. So I'm hoping that it's going to be perfect. First impressions are that it is maybe a little bit overcooked and not quite gooey in the middle, but you can get a temperature probe that goes in through one of the holes, which works really well. So I think that might be a future purchase, but I'm going to leave it to cool for a few more moments and then we're going to plate up. Easier said than done. However, it's important not to use sharp metal utensils on the silicone ring as it may damage it.
Oh, finally. This is always, usually, the best part of these videos. Always usually. <laughs> We've had a few uh, not so great uh, products. I'm not blaming you, I'm just blaming the, the videos. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, proof is in the eating. Let's mm -hmm. let's give it a taste. Make sure you get one of our foraged blackberries on there for oh, a little. Well. Expertly foraged. For me, it'll do. I'm not 100% content with it. It's mm -hmm. a bit more cakey than it is gooey fudge brownie. Yeah. So I would definitely make it less cooking time, maybe 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Maybe. It needs the high heat, yes, but then it's only 180 in a normal oven. Yeah. I think I need to try and test it a little bit more and maybe the packet mix yeah. so, to test it would have been a better idea. But essentially, this is it straight out of the box. We followed their guidelines, mm. which obviously this is the very first legitimate time we've used it, isn't it? So it's kind of like a trial run, I guess. And it's not too bad. Yeah. Like you said, it is a bit, um, the consistency is a little bit harder than Bit cakey. You'd like it. It's not quite burnt, but it's a little bit what we um, West Midlanders would call snurped. It's old black country that I realise that saying snurped around the edge. Um, delicious. Yeah, it still tastes just good. A bit cakey. I'd like it more gooey. They do say that the different type of stoves that you use, different brands, different uh, fuel types, are going to cook in different ways. So you need to test it first, which. We've given it a go. It's edible and that's all that counts. The recipe will be on our blog at campcomforts.co.uk. Mm -hmm. Managed to get it right this time. Um, I will try out the um, recipe again just to make sure that we're getting it right so I'm not giving you guys false information. Top marks for the Omnia. I'm really excited to finally have an oven in Flora. Mm. I'll be able to finally do my famous pasta bakes. Yep, stay tuned in a <laughs> video soon for that one. I've said that the baton needs to be passed. But just simple things, even like reheating things, roasting things, I'm really excited. And we're definitely going to be trialling it out a bit more. Mm. So, as Meg said at the top of the video, this isn't sponsored. We didn't actually pay for it because you won it yeah. in a go round competition. So it's a bit of free kit, but as Meg said as well, something we were looking for mm -hmm. because we've only got two ring burners. That's what we lived off for 13 months. Yeah, really missed an oven then. Mm. And this is like a great compromise, isn't it? Because we can't fit an oven in Flora, so. Uh, no. And also what possibly one thing to mention is that we're currently, we've switched to a larger Cala gas bottle. I don't know how often we'd use it if we'd got a small, either our emergency stove, because it'd probably take up one of those little cartridges, mm -hmm. or our camping gas. So the end result is pretty good, if I do say so myself. Yes, and if you want to get out next weekend foraging, go and have a look in the hedgerows. Make sure you're confident in what you pick, little disclaimer. And also, don't pick too much, only what you can actually eat, and make sure you save some for the birdies and the wildlife too. And if you do follow this recipe or similar ones, please send us pictures, tag us in it, all of our social media links will be down in the video description below. Yep. Make sure you use the hashtag Flora on food and tag us in at VW underscore Flora. And we will see you in the next video. Comment down below if you've had slightly more successful, successful brownie recipes. Cheers. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Can't be that bad, really, no.